Hello everyone, Killswitch423 here once again. Uh, I've been itching to play some sort of new collectible card game lately. And uh, I decided to check this one out on Steam. It's free to play, so we'll see how that goes. I hope it's not quote unquote free to play and here we buy a bunch of stuff to actually play cards. But, you know, whatever. We'll see how this goes. So I get into the game, make an account, and this is the first thing I see. I assume it is some sort of tutorial level. Um, we shall see. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Uh, a Baryon of the Flame Dawn has been chasing Nisa to the, of Nisa of the Genesis Industries for weeks. He finally has a chance to engage. Okay. The Flame Dawn is here to fight, or we will leave victorious! Okay. I think the Genesis Army has something to say about that. You will win if you can reduce Nisa's health to zero. Okay. Got it. Play card. Uh, this guy. Okay. Uh, so resource cost. I got one. Costs one resource. Okay. Morale cost. And if he loses, I lose two morale if he dies. Deals four damage. Can take four damage. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like. I do like how the cards are animated here. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Uh, one. We're all cost two. Same. But he's just better. Cards purity. This card requires a deck to contain a single flame down purity. Okay. Uh, sure. Play this guy then. He seems better. When you play a character card, it moves to the support zone and can do nothing more this turn. Got it. Players plan their turns at the same time. Both players are then revealed after clicking and planning. That's interesting. So I have to sort of predict what my enemy is going to be doing? That's kind of neat. Defense gone. 20 health. Nice. Giant unveiled by any known creature in size. Cost 3. This is 4. Alright, cool. You can only play a card if its resource it. cost is not more than your current total resources. Okay. What's this, what's this guy they play? Okay. Support drone. 2 and 2. Got it. Uh, so I'm gonna these guys. And this guy. Our men are yeah. ready! Begin the attack! Every character in your assault zone will attack characters in your opponent's defense zone. Interesting. So, yeah, let's move him to attacks. He's only got this guy to attack with, so I'm not afraid of him defending. Oh, but if he doesn't put anything in defense, I get it. So, if there's nothing in defense, then the attackers get straight through. I have to decide which character you're defending and attacking. I like, I like that. Alright, so let's plan the attack like that. So they're defending with that. Assuming one attack. They were correct. Looks like damage sticks around. Sort of like Hearthstone. Romich Field Commander. Uh, four cost. Once they saw some. Oh, look. Ooh! There's a little anthem effect on my. Like, that's, that's very nice. Alright, so I'll play this guy. Card has reach. Character with the reach can be locked. Oh, tips. Exact same thing as the magic. Thank you. I will play that. And he's got this guy. I'm not worried about taking damage. I'm just gonna lay on the attack here. I'm just gonna go all out. I'm curious as to how damage is assigned with that goes. Night of the Flame Dawn. 7-7. Seven, seven. Cool. Now the enemy's preparing to attack us! Prepare our defense zone! If you have no characters in your defense zone when your opponent attacks, they will damage your health. Oh, I should really click Don't Show Again next time. Play this guy. Move this guy here. Should we get? 
Those two guys over there should get right through. Nice. Okay. Flame Dawn Aspirant. Arrayed across the horizon, naught but victory lay in their path. Got it. Yes, sir. You're in trouble now. My Flame Dawn Aspirants will rush your defense zone. Flame Dawn Aspirant has charge. This means he can move directly to the assault zone. Okay, when so he basically has haste. Show again. Play card. Play this guy. So this guy here. And just go with a massive attack, I guess. Can I reorder guys as far as who's taking damage first? See how that works. Okay. Do four damage to our character. Okay, so it's got it. You drew a new type of card, an ability card. Click the card and read the description. Deals four to damage. Find what got it. it does. So it does go in order from left to right here. Alright, three, four, two flame gun aspirants in the assault zone that can be moved from the zone. Interesting. I will play this card. And in planning. Okay, I get it, I get it. They're dead. All right, I get it. I get it. I see how this game works. I can get behind the mechanics. It's quite interesting, actually. Yeah, we totally rock that one. I got experience, IP, whatever those are. Feeling confident after his last victory, a Varian attacks Luca, not knowing she has a couple of new challenges for him to overcome. Sure. You got lucky against Nysa, Burian. My flying characters will be your downfall. Sure. The Flame Dawn shall never be defeated! These characters are in the command zone. This lets them move directly oh, to the nice. assault, defense, or support zone. What are you? 12-12. Pay 5. Mark 1 Brimstone Battle Tank. Mark 1 Brimstone Battle Tank. 8 damage to your character on the battlefield. Play once per turn. Yeah? Oh, okay, I still need to play it. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll play my hand out then, right? Oh, wait, no, I can move directly to this. I screwed that up. I just got what they said being in the command zone means I can deploy them directly to attack. My bad. This kinetically overloaded drone seems to be getting more powerful. What is going on? Click any card to find out what it does. Kinetically overloaded drone. The enemy's turn, it gets plus one, plus one. Interesting. Quite interesting. Alright, so we have two powers. Let's play him. Play him. Salt zone. Right? Yeah. Definitely the aggro back here, so. Where'd you come from? Okay. Mm. Their command zone, got it. 
This airborne scientist could fly over the heads of our defenders. Let's take yeah, him out with I a fireball. This character has flying. Characters with flying cannot be defended against by characters without Two, flying. Three. I'll move you over here. I'm just gonna kill him. Anything else he has to come in. It's not gonna be a problem. Oh, wow. I didn't realize another one was coming to play. Job, I actually will say. You're in trouble, Iberian. I have many more flying characters, but how many firebolts do you this have? Guy. This guy is We're gonna, gonna have to think of another way to take them down. Just by rushing, I've got four available, so the only card I can play is this guy. Oh, it exiles care. I'm gonna use a lot of magic terms here for relevancy, so it uh, removes characters from the game. But yeah. Play you. Put you. Don't, yeah, don't show again. I don't know when this came into play, actually. I wish I knew. Uh, I wish there was some indicator of what they just played versus what they already had out. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy over here again. Actually, no, I should probably just. Attack on them? Yeah. There we go. I'm okay with that. I'm killing her much faster than she's killing me. Aha! We can use our Mark 1 Brimstone Battle Tanks ability to blast flying characters out of the sky. To use a character's ability, oh, I can just, the card, then he's technically in play activate. from here. That's cool. Yeah, you're gonna die. That's gonna take up my turn. Um, you though. You can go here. I should've moved to the front. That's my mistake. Oh, that's cool. It's you a drew a location card. Location cards have special did. effects. Click the card to see its effect. Oh, I can play that card. Oh, that's cool. I like how it changed that. That's a nice touch. Pretty good production value so far. Um, yeah, that's fine. Certainly on the winning side of this fight so far. Which deals double damage to artificial characters. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I've got seven, so I can blast this guy and play this guy. Yeah, seems good. And keep these guys here. Yeah. Yeah, I think the math still works out in my favor here. <laughs> Pay three exhaust. What does exhaust mean? What does exhaust mean? What should I do with exhaust meant? Oh, exhaust is just the name of the ability. It's damage to Player's Fortress? Okay, so it hits directly. I've got eight. So I could play you. Ooh. That's nice. Or I can play you. I'm blasting that. That's going to be that worth it. See, I'm taking eight. He's taking much more than eight if things are proper here. Um, I think I can just to play this guy.
this guy. Yeah, I'll play this guy. Or, no, wait, you know what? I can play all three of these guys. I feel like I just want to load the field up right now. Oh, do I have no more room in that? Oh, is he just going to go straight out of me? Oh, no, it's technically full over here, so it just places him there for now, I suppose. Alright, big dude's up at the front. I think. Let's see, what's the other lock? Eight tens? Um, okay, so. Yeah, lose this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd rather her get through for the big damage. Okay. That didn't work out quite the way I wanted to, but that's okay. Yeah, we're way ahead right now. And I keep getting four tiers. Another one of those guys. Alright, I've got nine available. two things this turn, so I gotta figure out what exactly I, mean. I think just having this Ada indestructible dude hanging out is pretty nice. And I think I'm gonna move this over Whoa. Here just to mitigate some damage. Oh yeah, this should be fine. Wait, no, I wanted to order those guys differently on this side. Whoops. I get through with quite a bit of damage this way anyway. Swift strikes. Target character attacks an additional time this turn. Nice. Oh wow, this is gonna be a big deal. Okay, so I've got ten. I can play. Do I just win? Okay, so let's play this guy over here. I'm not front. Um so activate this. This is what? Three? Yeah, three. Yeah. Seems good. Got seven left, and I can play these two. Alright, you. Take that. That should be it. That should. experience with aggro decks and card games, <laughs> so that had to be a very decent deck to start with. Alright, is that it? Turn to menu. That's it for that little thing? Okay. Interesting so far. Well, Infinity Wars, you've just taken your first steps into a wider world of in-depth strategy. Mastering Infinity Wars is a long journey, so don't worry if it's daunting at first. To help get you started, please select your level of experience with training card games. Play training games before, but not competitively. Played in tournaments and have invested. Yes, I have done this before. So if I'm going to be honest, I really I play a lot of Magic the Gathering and I go to weekly tournaments. So yeah. Give me my first deck store. Get your free deck to get your new cards and start up your collection. Uh, yes. As long as there's a way where I can like draft or something, assassinate, kill target character, decrease my max resources. Two. Okay. Defense columns. Okay. This guy. Is this just this, this this deck I've been playing with? In turn. If Tech Knight is in your support zone, it heals all damage from himself. Oh, that's cool. So I can like move him back to heal up. I like that. 
I guess I have any number of cards in a deck. That's interesting. Should target character in the battlefield to its controller support zone. So. Oh, that's cool. You're like, ha ha! Gotcha! Our flying dudes. This guy again. Okay, I can see what this deck wants to do. Aggro out, of course. A lot of those guys. Torchbearer. Opponent loses their health when I deploy this guy. Okay. Girl? Looks like a woman to me. I'm not sure though. The animations on the, on the cards are, are kind of nice. Great three. Oh yeah, that's that thing. Gives me some tokens, as I would call them. This thing. Move to your character. Oh, exhaust means move it to the support zone. Got it. Start of the turn, it becomes exhausted. On the battlefield to the support zone. Okay. Soldier of Fortune. Oh, just a little dude. Firebolts. Vicious Ransacker. Oh, wow, that's neat. And this thing. I like that thing. Alright, cool. So, put it out, creating very own collection of cards. Go play to earn more cards. Okay. Go to play. Try out the campaign. Just play through the campaign. New cards level up, as you level up, you might be to play. Okay, campaign, sure. I wonder if, I hope there's like a draft mode or some other cool sealed play mode. Talik is a world torn apart by war. Genesis Industries supplied every nation with weapons and armor. Their partnerships keeping them safe from the strife. Now the wars were over, the Flame Dawn had won, and the only foe remaining was the Genesis. Oh, that's kind of neat looking. Play? I like the world's more appropriate. Okay, I just read that. The time has come to bring down our allies. For too long, they pandered to the highest bidder, selling their allegiance. The world will finally know peace and order. Bathe them in a baptism of fire. For the world will be really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. What do I have my commands on? This one, one guy. Okay, so I want to hold him back. I just play this guy? Or, does that say thing go strictly assaults? Can I just move you there? Yeah! Okay, that's cool. Do that. Get some early damage. What's this? What you play? Okay. Pretty blaster. This thing. Okay. if it's in the support zone. I get a pretty neat... No! Whoa, what? I want to go back. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hit my own dude. What? Okay. Restart. That was... That was going to seriously screw me up. I did not click that. I let go of the mouse cursor and it... Mildly annoying. Yes. Alright, let's try this again. Play this dude. The same opening hand. Okay, so now let's try this again. Play him. There we go. Kill that thing. And I've got one left. So play you. Alright. Ha 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 ha. Keeping his board clear, killing stuff. All right, three four twos. All right, so I've got three to work with. So I need the three four twos. We'll play one of this guy. I think I want the three four two. Oh wait, that's a five cost process. I think I like that. Play. Yeah, I'll play this guy right now. Move you here. Put that zero twenty guy. Sure, get through that easily. Legionette of Dawn. I don't know. I have a pretty sweet turn ahead of me, don't I? So I can move this guy out here. 
stumble this guy. Alright. Stumble that. Now we got three left. Now you get you out. That should be pretty epic. No, I wanted to. I played the thingy. My jigger room. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice. That was quite a play. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I dig it. Alright, so I've got five to work with. I can just make bigger dudes or do some silly stuff. Yeah, let's get him out. I want to play this this turn. I like it. I enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah, level two. Uh, return to menu for now, I think. Uh, return? Did I unlock anything yet? Or is that locked to level three? I thought I saw. Daily reward. I got a Genesis scavenger. Full damage. Materials he has and repaired your first one house Oh, that's kind of cool. Puzzles. Okay. Training. Alrighty. What's this mode? Oh, this PvP mode. This is. Oh, there is a draft mode. Let's get to level 4. Nice. I'll definitely find a lot of that. Um, but I think for now, I think that's. I spent enough time with this for this episode. Um, so I'll probably be back once I unlock draft. I know these, this single player stuff is not that fun, but I'll come back and try some drafts out with this and record those when I get there. So in the meantime, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.